when you design a piece of jewelry, you let your mind fly to places that you, you can never reach physically. And this is where the pearl world took me. And I think that through the history of the pearl industry, we're always after the perfect round pearl. And when you look back at photos of your family, those black and white photos, you will always see your grandmother with a strand of round pearls. They were always round. But nature is not about the perfect pearl. Nature is about the beauty of the unusual. What Orna and I design today are pieces that they are way more exotic, much more fashion forward. They are not round, they are not perfect. They are not your grandmother's pearls. I was 22 when I met Isaac at the party. I was 24. Both of us didn't know what we really want to do in our life. We were two kids, unemployed, and one day we were both sitting at home, and she said, Listen, I know how to string pearls. So I said, okay, teach me. We bought some pearls, gold beads and clasps, and then we start uh, stringing. It was a window that was open to me to a totally new world that I never knew that existed. I was very excited to see him getting so excited from, from stringing pearls. For me, it was so natural. Ona was born into a jewelry world. I'm the fourth generation in a family of jewelers here in Jerusalem. I was born in uh, Buenos Aires, and when I came from Argentina, I was a child. And then we start to design and everything looks so nice. We were playing, we were having fun, we were trying to find our way in this world. And Isaac really fell in love. I could express myself, my feelings, my emotions through the jewelry. He was so proud of what he did. And after two weeks, Isaac said that he is ready to go out to sell. We, we made the sale. I couldn't believe it. I simply couldn't believe it. And it was a $990 sale. So we walked out from there and we hugged and kissed each other. We were hugging and kissing on the path for making a $990 sale. I was jumping in the street, so we took the money and we went down for a vacation in Eilat. <laughs> and we just went to Eilat. It was a, an evolution that took a few years until we took it to the next step. So when we started to look for employees, I wanted to give preferences to immigrants. He always wanted me to look for uh, people from the immigrant population. And we ended up building a company that most of the employees today are Jewish immigrants. And it's, it's a wonderful thing. A pearl is the only gem that grows inside of a living creature. When the pearl is removed, it's a very gentle process. You don't polish and cut and file a pearl as you do with other gems. A pearl is a natural thing, and when you understand that, you appreciate it more. The pearl can feel your body. It is the only gem that can connect emotionally with the nature of your body. The uniqueness about the way that we design jewelry is the fact that we first look for the pearls and once we found the right pearl we then come with a design and just enhance it with a little bit of our touch
Nivelle is an international jewelry brand all over the world. Now when I see celebrities wearing our jewelry on a red carpet or when I see a magazine, I'm very, very proud. Yvelle is a dream come true.